Not sure where to put your oil or your grease on your bait casting reel? No problem. I got you. Let's go. Alright, there's only one type of oil and one type of grease that I use and the first one is the Lucas Real Oil uh, and I'll, I'll be using this the majority of this video and then it, depending on your bait casting reel, we'll be using a little bit of the Pen Precision Real Grease as well and I'm going to go ahead and get out ahead of the question, how often should I do this for my bait casting reel? And my answer to you, it's really variable based upon your use. And So if you have one of these guys and it feels a little funky, you're not getting the distance on your cast that you used to, then it's probably about time to do this. Or if you haven't done it in the last couple months and you use your bait casting reel fairly regularly, it also be a good time to do this. All right, so let's hop in. Step number one, I recommend doing is either taping down your line or removing your line, making this a whole lot easier. All right, the first two places I like to put oil is on my push button clutch. I also like to push this down, give me easy access to where I want to put this, which is going to be right here, one drop on both sides, and then work it back and forth. All right, the next two places I like to put the Lucas Real Oil is right on your handles. Put one drop of oil on each side, kind of spit it around, let it seep in, get that to the other side. All right, the next place I like to put some oil is on the slide rail. I don't know if you can see that, but right in there, where your guide goes back and forth. You guys can see that. All right, now if you're in a pinch right here on the worm gear, you can see that in there. Um, you can use oil uh, if you don't have grease readily available and you're just doing it really quick. However, typically whenever you're oiling and greasing something, um, you wanna grease your gears. And so I recommend if you have the precision real grease, go ahead and pull a little bit there on your worm gear. So I just have a small little screwdriver and I'm gonna apply that in there. All right, next you're gonna to want to pop off the side plate and you can do that easily. A lot of times that's by clicking this up, it'll pop off. Sometimes these are fully removable, so don't drop that. Um, sometimes they're just static and kind of attached to it. This one's static and attached. And what I'm going to want to do is there's a bearing on the inside of here. I'm gonna put some oil on the outside of the bearing and you can put oil on the inside of that hole because that's what your spool is going to spin on or you can put it on the end of your spool, six or one half dozen the other. Next, you're gonna to want to remove your spool. Just like that. I'm gonna put a drop of oil in the middle of the hole, which is gonna be where this right here spins. And so you don't want friction there. All right, keep in mind, there's not gonna be a bearing on the inside of this because it's gonna be on the outside of your tension knob. So we'll get to that in just a moment. So go ahead and put this back together. Slide that in, slide this over, click it back. All right, next we're gonna do is take off your tension knob, spin that off, and go ahead and apply one drop of oil to that bearing, like so. Put the cap back on. <laughs> all right, now these are all the places you're gonna oil, but we're not done yet. Now what I want you to do is look on the bottom of your bait casting reel. And sometimes, like on the Shimano SLX right here, you will see a little hole. Now, you might think to yourself, hey, that's a lubrication port. It is not, do not put oil in there because it's gonna thin out your grease and you're gonna have a mess on your hands. However, on the loose bait casting reel, as you can see right here, you actually do have a lubrication port, uh, which you can kind of open up with a little small screwdriver, uh, making it really easy to get to so you don't have to take apart your entire bait casting reel. So let me show you how to do that. Real simple, just go ahead and unscrew the screw. Right there, pops off. Little tiny thing right in here. And now you have access to that gear. So it's gonna keep us from having to take this off, this off, and there's a ton of different parts. And I'm gonna show you in a little video how to do that if you have to. Now what you're gonna do is grab a little bit of the pen grease, apply that to the top of the gear. You're not gonna to wanna to jam pack this thing full of grease. Put a little bit, we're talking maybe 20% of this gear you actually wanna put grease on. This is going to, as you spin it around and work it in, it's gonna work its way over all of the gear. So you don't need to sit here and try to touch every single tine of that gear piece. Work it in, I'm gonna reassemble. And that's how you do it on the loose. So if you're interested in diving in, if you don't have easy access like you do in a loose and actually need to take this apart, I'm gonna throw a video in on the end of how to take this apart correctly so you don't have all these parts everywhere and how to grease the gears inside of your bait caster reel. Now I imagine that if you are greasing and oiling your bait casting reels and you're gonna to need to do the same thing to your spinning reels and I got videos on those as well, how to oil and grease your spinning reels right there. <laughs> 